You're not watching a replay of the 1964 or 68 Olympics, but these are the 1964 and 68 gold medal winning champions in the year 2005 in their 17th performance at an evening of champions, Ludmila and Oleg Protopopov. True legends in the sport we're seeing here in terms of pairs and just skating overall. Beloved by many skating fans worldwide. Six-time world champions in the 1960s, they began skating together and competitively in 1954. So they are in their 51st season together. They now reside in the United States at Lake Placid, appropriately, where they skate most every day. Actually, up to 16 hours of training per week, it says. Great couple and a great crowd pleaser every time they perform here at the Evening of Champions, as well as other exhibitions around the country and the world. What they're best known for is inventing several unique variations of the trademark death spiral. That's the move where the... In fact, I think they're going into one now. This particular move, called the death spiral in the discipline of pair skating. Just amazing. She, uh, when I was here last year, Tim, just uh, captivated the crowd. I had a chance to speak with her too. She is a lovely woman in more than one way. Skating doesn't occupy all of their life. Ludmilla enjoys sewing and cooking while Oleg likes to work with computers and listen to music, which I'm sure he uses in a lot of their programs, certainly. Simple piece here called appropriately, I love you. What's truly amazing about this couple is their longevity on the ice, their career. Yeah, and what an amazing uh, life indeed. Uh, coming up as highly touted athletes in the Soviet Union in the 1950s, Cold War Soviet Union, and through the 60s, competing, and now living in the United States and uh, skating with uh, such joy and living at the home of maybe uh, America's greatest Olympic success, Lake Placid. And a very unique couple in the respect that many skaters, they hit, reach that pinnacle of Olympic gold medal status, skate a few years and then retire. But you can tell that this couple truly loves skating. They have made skating their life. And will skate as long as they are able and to the enjoyment thrill of everyone worldwide. The Proto Pop Offs. Tim, one of my first memories of uh, Olympic ice skating was 1968, Peggy Fleming in Grenoble. And I remember these two very well. It was a thrill for me last year on our first telecast here uh, to meet them in person. Here they are now, the proto pop -ups. You can not only see the joy that they have for this sport of skating in the actual skating, but even on their faces. I mean, they just truly get such fulfillment out of being out there. And you can see the love between the two of them as a couple as well. I used to skate at in the Pittsburgh area. There was an elderly couple who were on the ice and they were just skating side by side. I asked them, what encouraged you to get out here? And they said, we saw that couple, well, they couldn't think of the names, 
but they were speaking about the proto pop-offs. They said it's never too old, you're never too old to start skating. They used these two as role models. An inspiration both young and old. One more round of applause for the uh, reigning king and queen of Evening with Champions, Ludmila and Oleg Kodopopov. Stay tuned for more of our coverage of an Evening with Champions.